Hey, what's going on guys? It's DJ Baseball here. Um, let me just start off. If I sound a little upset right now, I'm a little salty because I've recorded this video or started recording this video twice and I've ran out of storage twice. I just cleared everything. I cleared it the first time and then my stupid self forgot there's the deleted box which still counts for your uh, storage and I forgot about that. <laughs> so I had to start again. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and hop into this what's in my bag video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and let's go ahead and hop into it. So on the outside of my bag is my school hat. This is blue, orange, and white with a blue back with orange Wolverines right here, orange trim. And then for the logo, it's a WM. Uh, it's, it's orange, white, then blue. And over here, I have the uh, MLB logo, which is white, orange, and blue. All right, moving on. Moving on. Um, also, what I keep on the outside of my back is my gamer for the infield, which is my Wilson A A2K. And that's progress. This is definitely broken in for me. I don't, I can't clap it yet, but it's definitely doing the job since I um, am playing pretty well with it. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this bag, and then then that bag. This one right here is my all-purpose bag, basically. This is my Under Armour uh, bag. I have two bags because I'm a catcher, and I don't like the big ones, and I don't know where my my old one is. I think I got rid of it. So let's just go ahead and start with the side pocket. Um, this is an Under Armour bag, like I was saying. All right, so um, right here, uh, these are my... Uh, on our deceptions, lows, um, these are very good cleats. Um, the bottoms are diamond tips, which are, they're half molded and then half metal, which is awesome. I like the, the feel that they give me, um, especially for catching, because uh, I don't get too stuck, but then I don't slip very easily, and especially for running bases and all that good stuff. So yeah, definitely recommend these, but if you have bad ankles, I do not recommend them because of how thin the ankle support is. So yeah, let's keep going. Especially if you have bad ankles, you should not be, wear be wearing low cleats. You should definitely be wearing highs for the ankle support. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the other side pockets. I basically left all the, the pockets open, except for this one right here, which I can open pretty easily. So this side pocket, I keep my, my bat weight in. This is the one that my team uses. So yeah, I'm the one that has that. And then right here is my 2B Wax, um, uh, just pine tar stuff. Uh, it's, it's the uh, synthetic stuff that is really good. And then going ahead and hopping right into this one. Right here to start off, another uh, 2B Wax thing. This is the synthetic pine tar. So it actually looks like pine tar, if you can see it in there. I put it on basically everything. This is the cold formula. And funny enough, they actually sent this to me uh, before they even released it, which is awesome. I definitely, definitely recommend this. This is a very, very good uh, pine tar for a synthetic. And it's even better than, like, Tiger Stick. And it doesn't get everywhere, which is awesome. Um, next up, I have this arm sleeve right here. This is actually an NBA arm sleeve. I know, kind of funny, but... I like it. It's just plain white, and the the logo thing actually peeled off of it, so it's just plain white. And yeah, it's comfortable. It does the job. That's just as a backup if I forget something. The next up is I have a Evo Shield um, wrist guard for infield, just in case I'm taking a lot of ground balls or if I've been hitting the wrist a bunch. I like to use that. Next up in this pocket, I have. Uh, athletic tape with um, pre-wrap just in case I need to tape my wrist or uh, a cut or something just uh, good to have um, then I got chapstick because my lips do get chapped when I'm playing baseball so yeah uh, I believe that's it in this pocket so moving on to the main pocket we'll start with my wood bat this is my roof um, uh, Pro Beach 33, so 33 inches, is drop two, and the model number is LBP243EB. 
Um, yeah, they don't offer this to be customized. The company was very uh, generous to let me do mine. Um, so definitely check them out. This bat has the most amazing pop out of, out of a wood bat I've ever seen. So yeah, for sure check them out. Moving on, um, this is my game bat. This is my uh, Demarini Voodoo uh, BB Core um, 3229. Um, I still have the original grip on here. I like it. I like the way my hand rests in it, so that's why I haven't changed it. And this is probably my last year using this, so I really don't think of it, think it's a good idea for me to change the grip now. All right, let's keep on going. All right, next up is going to be my catcher's mitt. Um, I keep two baseballs in it to keep that good shape um, so it doesn't collapse because I keep it in my bag. So this is my Wilson A2000 Pudge. Um, in here I have the Evo Shield Thumb Guard. And yeah. Next up will be my pitching glove. This usually will be switched with either my Heart of the Hide or this. Um, right now I have this in it. I keep a ball in the pocket. There's the break in on it so far. So yeah. Right now I have this in my bag. Next up, my band gloves. These are Franklin Customs, um, blue and orange with white. These are very, very good batting gloves. I definitely recommend them. And they last a lot longer than you would think because of this type of material. The only uh, ripping is right there. So, yeah. Let's keep on going. This is my helmet. This is my Easton. Um, I've had this a long time. As you can tell, it's definitely wearing down got dirt on my I had to tape the sides back together and right here is falling apart I'm gonna probably glue this one and that one so yeah next up I pre open this just to make it easier this is my Oakley case with my Oakley's right there these are uh, Oakley radars um, yeah you can see me in there what's up guys uh, yeah, these are pretty old and beat up. I'm going to be buying new socks for them because they need it. These are just silver. I bought lenses for these because my old ones cracked, so I just got new lenses uh, recently, like last year, and these are holding up just fine. So yeah, so I'll move that over there. And then just a couple more things in here, like I keep uh, backup headphones just in case I'm on a uh, road game and I forgot my headphones like say I left them in my locker I like to keep those in there and then a tennis ball because in our locker room we have a we have brick wall or cement wall so we throw a tennis ball at the wall and work on practice basically throwing ground balls and then in this little pocket I keep my eye black I wear this every game it's a comfort thing I've done it for like seven years now so yeah and then also in this pocket I keep uh, a pro hitter I don't really use this much um, it was just a cool thing to test and try out um, I don't see a significant difference um, I'll pro possibly if you guys want I can do a review on this I, like say I'll go to the cage and I'll record myself hitting without it and with it and yeah so yeah a little cool thing to have all right, so that is it for my regular bag. And now moving on to my catcher's bag. This, um, all it has really in it is catcher stuff, clearly. So let me open it. I'm not really going to pull this all out because then I have to repack it. I even have to repack that, so. Um, in here I have, obviously, my cup. I really don't care if you saw it. Uh... And my all-star catcher's mask with my all-star chest protector and my all-star shin guards. And that's really it that is in this bag. I just keep my gear in here. And this is a blue, it's just an Adidas bag. So, yeah. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is DJ Baseball. And this is my gear. So, have a good one, guys. Remember, stay hungry. Keep improving and climb that mountain.